The Rady Faculty of Health Sciences at the University of Manitoba has received a $3.9 million government grant to study women's heart health, which has historically been understudied. The 10-person research team is led by Dr. Lori Kirschenbaum. I spoke with him earlier today and got a tour of some of his research facilities. Here's part of our conversation. Dr. Kirschenbaum, heart disease is the number one killer of men, also the number one killer of women next to cancer. Can you talk about what you're doing to maybe bridge that gap or to study more about why? Right, thanks very much. Um, yes, next to cancer, heart disease is the number one killer of women. And the reason for that is that women have been understudied with respect to research, with respect to clinical trials, and there's this gap in the way we address women living with heart disease. And consequently, this major funding, the Canada Foundation for Innovation, will help us address this gap in differences between men and women with respect to heart disease. Particularly, we're interested in looking at changes in how metabolism affect sex, both in males and females, and this infrastructure grant will help our team uh, look at a whole gamut of uh, reasons why heart disease is so prevalent uh, and understudied in women. So when you look at you know, a picture of the anatomy, for example, the heart looks the same in women and men. So how different is it in both? So that's, it's, it's interesting because the hearts are quite different. It, next to the reproductive system, hearts of men and women are quite different. Uh, women develop different kinds of heart disease. They manifest heart disease symptoms much differently than, than men. And for this reason, they are often misdiagnosed or underdiagnosed. Um, our goal is to really understand why that is and to help uh, provide better patient care through research that will translate into better quality of life for, uh, for both men and women, but the focus on, uh, on women. So how will this money go toward studying? you know, women's heart health. So the, so the grant will allow us to purchase equipment that we otherwise wouldn't have in Manitoba. Uh, it's a really exciting opportunity because the Institute of Cardiovascular Sciences at St. Boniface Albertson uh, Research Centre is partnered with the University of Manitoba and several different departments throughout the university, including engineering, um, functional foods, um, I guess, in fact, um, many areas, including clinical cardiology, and all these experts come together uh, to focus on this one uh, problem, which makes this very unique. So the infrastructure, buying this equipment, is uh, paramount to us moving forward. We wouldn't otherwise have this, this great opportunity for these experts to come together and uh, solve this problem. So could the research that you are doing to study women's heart health, how could this be applied in the future to help women and to maybe help women survive heart attacks or heart issues? Right. Yeah, that's that's one of the major themes. Uh, our goal is to try and develop new biomarkers or understand the mechanisms of why heart disease occurs differently in males and females. And the goal is to develop the, you know better treatments, um, better education, um, and, and more importantly also to address the, uh, uh, the, the concern of uh, not understanding what, when women are having heart disease. So uh, this is awareness and so part of this is an education component. There's also a mental illness component tied to this as well because the idea of having heart disease, especially if it's a caregiver, uh, mom, aunt, whoever, um, our sisters, brothers, daughters who have heart disease, uh, we have to understand that they may be providing care for a family and uh, there's a mental uh, stress associated with any disease but in particular heart disease. Mm -hmm. With women heart health uh, or the other area that we study, the um, the concern is that many individuals who are undergoing chemotherapy mm -hmm. for cancer treatment, uh, they're given um, various drugs and the drugs are very effective in treating the cancer, but one of the side effects is it causes heart muscle damage. Ah. And because women are treated for ovarian cancer and breast cancer, again, they're very susceptible to this sort of what we call a cardiomyopathy that ultimately leads to heart failure. And so one of the areas that we and some of the, our team are interested in studying is why that occurs so we could prevent the heart muscle damage from occurring yet allow the cancer therapy to occur uh, and, and, and help treat the person. Sometimes what happens is that the heart muscle becomes weakened and the person has to stop the cancer therapy. Before we wrap up, can you talk a little bit about how it presents itself differently in men and women and some of the signs that people can look out for? You know, it's it's a really interesting question uh, because typically men will manifest uh, radiating pain in their arm, very difficult breathing, heaviness on their chest. Um, women typically 
they do get some of those symptoms, but not always. They may be as simple as feeling unwell or exceptionally tired, uh, vague symptoms that are often dismissed as anxiety or really nonspecific, um, in contrast to the classical, you know, heart attack type symptoms. So my recommendation is if any, if you're feeling unwell and you don't feel right, just that sort of feeling, visit your doctor, call 911, get help immediately. And that is Dr. Lori Kirschenbaum. He is leading a team of 10 researchers who are using a $3.9 million provincial and federal government grant to study women's heart health.